But my body. Can you hear song? No, I don't know. We we'll leave it there. I realize I'm 33, and you're just slightly older than that. Now, um, <laughs> How you doing? But I want to say, while while 30 may not be young, but also may not be old, what it is is washed. And <laughs> <laughs> bro, I, I have. Yes, sir, we are back. It's Monday. Sanchez, you, sir, at, by the time you're hearing this, a baby shower would have happened. What up, everybody? I want COC Forever podcast. Boy, it feels different this week. Brother, man, <laughs> this weekend was one of mm. those weekends that Ooh. we hope we could get a, a, a make this a routine. <laughs> Word. Word. But it was a weekend where we forgot how to act. It done. As a whole As community, a whole, a com- a New York City <laughs> FC community, <laughs> we all forgot how to act. We, we because forgot what team we supported for a little because bit. Because we forgot that what what's what's what what what, what comes with a win. Yeah. And because it's been so long, it feels, and uh, wins are far and few in between. It that was, we just we for, like, we didn't the know. Reset, bro. We didn't know it was. Everybody wanted to grab at some kind of celebration. Yeah. And all of the – it was one of those memes where they say, like, how do you want to celebrate? And then you just go, yes. Yes. Because it's all the types. Listen, i put it this way. Uh, Kung Fu Panda Edwin in the bodega pregame, he basically was talking. He said, uh, if uh, win or lose, we're going to have fun tonight. Word. Because it was a really good vibe at the bodega. Yep. And uh, that's what he, he he mentioned. That I was like, you know what? We're going to have fun tonight yeah. no matter what happens. We're gonna have fun, and boy, as a yeah. community, we had fun. We had tons of fun, man. First, before we start anything about this weekend, I want to just take a moment and shout out everyone that came up and said what up, said hi, whether we met you for the first time or uh, meeting you, you know, for a second or third time, and now it's kind of like a catch up. Yo, we do this really for for ya, cause. We know how it feels to not be entertained by anything coming from this league about this team. And, again, we're still fans, so it's it, I'm not going to bullshit. Sometimes it's a little bit overwhelming because we're still there as fans. But we love that you guys come up to and say what up to us. And I'm glad we, – we're glad that we're part of your mornings. I, and I'm not going to lie. Like, it's it's dope. It's fun. I, I'm. It, it was a little – it hit the heart. It hit the heart a little I bit. I forgot. That people know us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was going about my day as if uh, uh, we're just, it's a Saturday. We're coming yeah, to come support a- the boys in blue and uh, let's get on with our day, you know? And then the first person was like, hey, this is part. And I was like, oh, yeah, what's up? Thanks. And then we had a short yeah. conversation. And then someone else came in. And I was like, oh, shit. Man, nah. I forgot, <laughs> bro. I, I forgot bro, bro. we do this pod bro- and people watch. <laughs> And people appreciate yeah, this, and I, I just wanted you know. to say thank you because even though, listen, guys, this we week, have to be truthful about something. There's weeks sometimes that, that <laughs> we have to be true. Last yesterday, whoever said hi to us, right? You saw our alter egos. <laughs> <laughs> you met our alter egos. You met us, but you met us. <laughs> you met somebody. <laughs> Yo, hold on. Shout to uh, because again, I, I, <laughs> slide, please message us with your with your names because we, we said. We may not remember names. I want to shout out uh, 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 Mooney. Yeah, word. Spread love. Spread you know love I mean? all the time. Condolences to you and your family. And, for sure, uh, man. Thanks for saying well, some kind words yesterday. Yeah. And then you have uh, homie came from PA. That's right. That's right. He Long drove up trip. From, from Long PA trip. To watch, uh, to watch the match and said he was listening to the pod. Appreciate we, you. Uh, and it was cool meeting yeah. mostly everybody in uh, the shouts, March. Shouts to the couple. Again, I ask you guys, just, just DM us your names. We, we want to know your names. It's just we meet. We kind of shake hands, kissing babies a lot, and uh, maybe not the babies part, but shaking a lot of hands. But we, we appreciate edible. all. We of... took edibles, bro. Yeah, let's just say that. Let's just put it out there, put the truth. We took edibles. <laughs> that was early, early, and they started <laughs> kicking in late. At the <laughs> we thought we were gonna be prepared. It was <laughs> the march happened, and it was like, yeah. Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. it was but... like he he. I'm in danger. <laughs> <laughs> so with that, uh, let's get to. By the way, keep sharing this. This, this is all grassroots. Thank you. Ain't again. no money. It, ain't no money here. This even is all though grassroots. we weren't in our our, our, our best be- <laughs> our best behavior, it does feel warm and comforting, knowing yeah. that people uh, 
take their time yeah. out of their day to listen to us. And I know Dave's not here, but he uh, feels he's the same for, the uh, for his baby shower. And uh, I know he feels the same. Yeah. And that's re- it's a really nice feeling. Sometimes for us, uh, we have bad weeks and the game, the day of the games yeah. are our escapes. That just like many people, have, people else, uh, other people who go to the games to escape for the daily routine. And after having bad weeks and having bad days and ha- hearing people say nice things about me or about us. It really, it really brings up my. Uh, it brings the mood up, especially with the, the mood up. Like, it probably helped. It probably did help with my social meter yesterday, because I was getting scared <laughs> and I was wanted to go hide somewhere, bro. <laughs> like so, <laughs> my anxiety level was going through the roof yesterday, and and throughout the throughout the pregame festivities, it's, it, it, it's it, helping the muscles, helping the yes, muscles. It it's re- helping you get that meter a little bit more. And for that, I say thank you to, to everybody who said kind <laughs> words because word. you helped me. Uh, uh, get through the day. No. So just keep subscribing yeah. or sharing it, all of it. Uh, we hope to Appreciate have that. more stuff like yeah. throughout the year. We want to apologize for Friday. Yeah, word for Friday episode. Uh, life got in the way in, uh, for 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 us, and uh, we we just we just couldn't find a way to no. do it. We couldn't find the time to do it. We'll and, be back. And yeah, that's our apologies for yeah. that. But now, nah. but let's get into this day, man, because the day was oh, like you said, Panda was saying. The day was given off. We are Incredible here for vibes. each other. Incredible vibe. It was such a, it was. I want to say full kumbaya, but it really did feel like, yo guys, it don't matter what happens today. I yeah, think Johan posted a picture. He's like, even uh, it only matter if we took an L. Today's a win because yeah. it was that. It was weirdly, that, weirdly that kind of day. Yeah, the every, whole from the moment. Listen, listen what, what, I think everybody came in with a great move because of one thing that we didn't we failed to mention. The stadium. Or, yes. That was the topic conversation pregame. Jesus. Everybody celebrating that Jesus. the stadium got uh, uh, finally go- approved. Through. Hopefully, by the time this episode comes, the clock's ticking. The mayor has five, five days, days to sign the bill. Um, or veto, but I don't think he's obviously he's not, not going to veto. veto. Uh, it's, by the time this comes out on Monday morning, this is uh, it would be day, uh, I guess, two business yeah. days. Mm-hmm. So he, some, hopefully he does it Monday or Tuesday. And... And we're good. And, and, that, then, and, and that was making everybody feel good. Oh, yeah. we got the stadium deal. It's finally done. Housing uh, uh, housing, and everything. So it was great conversations and good spirits just on that alone. Yeah. And that's what led to the vibes being good all yeah. day. Yo, uh, if you they, think about it now, if you sit back, that's that's what it was. It was everybody. Was yeah. just, it's like you finally got to breathe and everybody was just, this is just a couple more years of this. The facts of life is, right, that I'm, I know I'm not in this alone. But I, I'll, I'm the one that's gonna say it out loud. Oh, I know what you're gonna. That right. once right. the stadium is built, I don't think I ever have a need to step foot in the Bronx ever again. Unfortunately, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Respect to the Bronx. I love the Bronx. People who know me like know yeah. I have mad love for the Bronx. Yeah. Like, like I have a lot of connections in the Bronx. I don't have a reason to step back foot in the Bronx. I do, but I, I know I you get, do. Your I get, family, yeah, there. I get you. I, but but it's like if you have no reason to go to a game, yeah. any to a Yankee Stadium. I told that to somebody, and th- their response was, "The only time I've ever come to the Bronx in my whole life was to come to NYCFC games." And I was like, well, "Wow!" There's people. I'm telling you right now, and and not, not to even like, the zoo, not <laughs> even the zoo, <laughs> and not to like super hark on it, but like this. Um, there's people that only know the Bronx as one six one, yeah, and that and that's it. That, that, that area, and right that there. area, like they'll talk about it, like oh, I, you know, I've been to the Bronx, I go to the Bronx, but they only know that little area. And normally, as as Bronxonites, a Bronxonites, like we, we shit on that normally, like, but we also understand, like, if you're not from the Bronx, there's no, you need, have no reason, there's no reason for you to be up in Castle Hill, Castle Hill, Fordham, like, Fordham is our district, like, you don't really see people outside of. That are not from the I wouldn't. Bronx and I would be surprised to be like, yo, you heard of, of, of one four nine in Southern, like. Yeah, like you not. Now, why would you be? Why there? would you be there if you are not from the Bronx? <laughs> there's no reason for you to be in Southern Boulevard. Exactly. But again, the vibes are very much like we're gonna. Be, you said something in the bodega that I think a lot. When you said it out loud, a lot of people uh, were kind of it got it hit them as well. So by the way, bodega vibes from the jump was just. That everybody was on a friendly tip, no drama, thank God. And it was music, got there a little late, but 
Or did we get there early? Oh, I think we might have. We nah, I think we got there a decent time. We got there like I think we got time. there a respectable time. Yeah, the, 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 the music, the, the music, music I wanna, showed up a little. I'm gonna call it the music was a little late. Yeah, yeah. but get you want shit some, together. <laughs> yo, they had the, the the speaker has the the flex bombs on it. So yes, that's <laughs> the the and the bombs. Yeah. that was hilarious so, when they were when they were uh, uh, like yeah, remixing the song, yeah, bringing it back. Panda had uh, clip the skip by the way, and then uh, shout shout to Panda for DJ. Yes. But not nah, was I going to? Say? Oh yeah, you had said you would. Tr- and I don't, I don't know if this was the the, <laughs> the edible hitting uh, yeah. that you would trade the stadium for the bodega vibes. Yeah, bro. You were not gonna. Unfortunately, what the bodega now has a legit countdown. Yeah. Ex- if you can, if you're gonna experience, if you're part of that bodega experience, it's it has a a, a countdown, it has a clock. Right. Now, I, my. We're not getting this back. I remember the first time I took my dad to the bodega. He goes, I've never seen something like this in my life. And that's counting Ecuador growing up. Like yeah. the back of a bodega type shit like this. Like that. Everybody who I've ever brought back there for the very first time. It's, and it's, I guess everybody who was there for the first time would be like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. And uh, I was fortunate to have uh, bodegas in my neighborhood that had uh, extracurricular activities. All the time. In, in yeah. the back or whatever. So I knew stuff like this happened. And I've been to a one only. Besides this, it had like a full blown uh, Las Vegas casino in the basement. Mm. Like this shit was like casinoed out, right? So I know that stuff happens behind closed doors in the bodegas, but, but to be like to make that your home, it's it, you know it's it's different. It's different. It's different. And then you know what? I hope a lot of the uh, a lot of people who go to the to the bodega show their respects and say their hellos to the owners. Yeah, and the people who run the bodega like behind the counter because. Like I know them now at this point. Yeah, like we know each other. We've we've we've. That's ten years of yeah, yeah. of of history now with yeah. a specific place. Like yeah, I know every group has. There's their- nothing, and everybody was agreeing with me when I started breaking it down. Like yo, there's nothing. There's gonna be nothing like this by the new stadium no. ever. It, it, this would not be replicated. It's gonna be tailgates gonna, at the. It's gonna be tailgates, or they're gonna open some type of beer garden. Yeah, and that's it. Bro. And it's gonna be. We're like, just gonna become like any other MLS. I don't. Uh, I don't want to go that far because I feel yeah, like bro, we're I, still. I know you might feel that way, yeah. but we. I feel like the New Yorkness is still gonna be there. Not in the building. Not, not in the new construction, bro. Not, not, it's gone, bro. The new construction, new construction no. it's over, bro. But There's, the attitude. That shit's, that shit's not going to look like. It's up to us, though. But let, 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 I want to take I want to take that burden. Let, let us take that burden of the physical space may not be the same, yeah. but the energies are still going to be the, the energy the and same. the vibe, yeah. But it's, it's, still, it's still. I'm going to look yeah. around and be like. There's, I'm not going to be able to go by a fucking How come no one's Arizona? pissing in the corner here? Huh? <laughs> the fuck is this? No, nah, but. It, Good times, man. Good times. Honestly, yo, there was a moment though that you and I, I felt like it hit us at the same time, bro. When that edible, I, hit, yo, we were like that little kid in the denim outfit with the sunglasses in the club, like yeah. Because some, I, it was something. Was, I forgot what happened, and at the same time, it hit, and we were just like, I, you lit a joint, and I was like, yo, I don't think that's a good idea, bro. Yeah, <laughs> and and you're like, why? I'm like, because it's hitting right it's now, hitting. and I don't, and we're just gonna go to another, and you were like. If anything, we'll clip it. And I was like, if we light it, there's no clipping yeah. it. <laughs> there's no and clipping it, this, bro. There's no clipping. And, bro, did bro. it. Hey, we, we were looking for help. Yeah. We, we, had, were, we Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my. We Sorry. Were, All right. Talking about one disappointment. One very big <laughs> disappointment. <laughs> Why today? I, well, Saturday out of all days, did we not have a third to fourth person to pass this <laughs> J2? Cause that was specifically we were like that, anybody, anybody, this? <laughs> please, anybody, Somebody. take this because everybody apparently now under this new four local wave, uh, yo, the kids, yo, the four local in the box, yeah, you know what I, I realized, the kids, these what are I, not kids, bro, these are grown adults, yo, what I realized, grown young adults, bro, son, like, they're, they're not kids, <laughs> no one's kids listening to this. I hope, well, if you are, thank you very much. Nah, bro, we, how you doing? Shots you know, the case. Eat your vegetables <laughs> and eat, take your vitamins. But man. That <laughs> we couldn't find a third person to pass us to. Yo, that was funny. even in a circle. Yeah. Even when we were circled up, I was like, no, no. 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 And then came to Sanchez. What's, what's hilarious is when and then Suki you was in. like the, the hot tag. Oh, the hat tag. <laughs> he was like, tag it, <laughs> bro. And I was like, ah. Yo, we had to tag another safe. Yeah. Because our circle didn't want to take it. We had to. 
Let's just join with y'all. <laughs> fucking, we had a WrestleMania and shit. We had a lot of WrestleMania moments. Who <laughs> we yeah. fucking playing? We sang uh, Kingdom. We sang Kingdom from Cody Rhodes because Cody Rhodes. It was funny. Story. Panda's like nobody's gonna know the song. I'm like nobody's gonna know the song, but everybody's gonna know the woes. Yeah. And that's exactly what happened. when the Whoa! woes came. It was like, Whoa! Oh, so, man. but nah, I think. Uh, overall, it was one of the best bodegas and then, and then, we've had. And then man. there was the uh, discussion of let's go to the march. You yeah. Know? And it was time for, when it was time to go to the march. Yo, I got lucky with some empanadas. For the march to the march. Oh, yeah, I got the bar. I was road. like, let me get some empanadas for the march to the march. Mm. I was not drinking. Yo, you know that feeling when you get that, when you order empanadas from the from the bodega, right? And then be like, oh, you could tell it's been there for a minute. Yeah. For like at least like a little bit. I got the cheese empanada. Yo, it still had the oil was still bubbling. Oof. I, I was I took a bite into it and I was like, mmm. <laughs> it hit you with the mm, succulents. <laughs> uh, that shit was cheesy. It was so stretchy. Bro, you know when you bite it in the cheese. Is dripping you know, down your lip like you know what happens when you take an empanada, right? The cheese ones, especially when you yeah. went like they're hot and that's gravity, just sitting, gravity. Just so you bite it and you get an empanada. You get nada in there, bro. You get nothing. <laughs> no, um, <laughs> you get an empanada. <laughs> It'd be happening. You get a not. You get nothing. And then you, I took first bite cheese. Yeah. I was like, ooh. It hits. It is nice. It is nice. Ooh, yeah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Again, yeah. we were let's. Hunk, the munchies was munching. I got a butter roll for the for a little. You got a butter roll at six in the afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> A butter roll, how you, and a passion, smoke yo, coffee, bro. how you doing? Butter, butter roll, and a stress fruit, cigarette. Plus, <laughs> I was not drinking. Shouts to Newbert, but I could not check in this week. I just could not. Be, I could not drink. But <laughs> <laughs> I had passion fruit juice and a grape eight snapple. That was one of my waves. You're going, and I ain't gonna hold you, bro. Best butter roll I've had in like, like years. Succulent, succulent, succulent. <laughs> no yo, diddy, no diddy, bro. bro. No diddy. Shouts also. We stopped the no ditties. Or someone the decided so, the audacity to play a song. Yo, with we Diddy were playing, on. bro. We were. This is how you know the vibes were, and we could get to the march right now. I we know had what you're say. we had Chris Brown, oh yeah, playing, and everybody was just like, yo, everybody. What song was that? I can't remember um, in my head right now. Did we have Excuse Me, Miss? I have, for some reason, I have Excuse Me, Miss, in, in my head. But Sean was all in it. Yo, shout out to Sean. Sean was belting the, whatever. I forgot what song now. I, I'm going to take that it back. It wasn't it was, that song. It wasn't that song. But it was, I feel like it was a Chris Brown song. It was a love song. They're all love songs. They're all love songs. But Sean, shout out to Sean. Yo, I feel like, I feel like the but, belting but, out this. But this was, this, was the, this was Bodega Part 2. That was part. Oh, yeah. All right. That was Bodega Part 2. So, let's, so we go to the march. I turned the corner at stands to get to the march, and I was like, "Oh nah, where's everybody at, son? Yeah. Oh nah, bro. It was windy, yo. It was it was brisky. Let's let's remember, yo, it was that brisky. Wind was hitting at the that wind, time. The wind, the wind was thirty mile gale per hour winds, bro. It was thirty miles. Thirty miles, bro. We are gonna call it thirty miles, bro. Okay, thirty miles. Like I told Brenda Picnic a uh, a couple weeks ago. Shouts to Brenda like, with the bad foot. When the New York City education system fails me. I'm forced to learn myself. Teach, <laughs> I'm forced to teach myself. Word. So if y'all ain't going to teach me, y'all failed me as an education system. I have no choice but to listen to Joe Rogan. All right? <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, put... Nah. Yeah. But mo- the, yeah, it was... Bro, the, it, the, the crowd was looking like we, we stayed home. Sparse. And at that Sparse. point... At that point, I was thinking, oh... Attendance might be a little low today. We said it to each other. We're like, yeah. yeah, the attendance for the stadium might be low because it's like the march, yeah, the march kind of like a, a barometer mm-hmm. for how the it's uh, gonna for go. the stadium is going to be. At least a supporter section for the most part. But but we I'm, were wrong in both bro, instances. We I, were wrong, in, wrong all, all, yeah, all around. All, all, all around. around we were wrong. Go, but, but gladly wrong. I, gladly I, I'm, wrong, I'm cool, yeah. to, I'm cool being yeah, wrong on that, that one. Yeah, you know, it's, my, our hypothesis didn't work. No, sci- the scientific method. Science. You know, I'm a big believer in science. <laughs> The science, the science was the conqueror. There you they, go. They won. Sounds like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the medibles <laughs> won. <That's what> <laughs> <laughs> the, the march for us was, was it was experience. It was like it was. Yo, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how the march was for y'all, <laughs> but for me and Yusuf, it, 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 it was the greatest march of all time. Yo, it was the greatest march of all time. We had to convince yo Panda if you're listening to this or seeing this, believe us, it was good. <laughs> We, Panda he, couldn't believe He was like He was like It was alright I was like, right. no, like bro, no bro I had the time of my life bro Yo it was 
I'm gonna be saying we we were in stuck in traffic for a little bit. <laughs> Yo, we were stuck in traffic. We were legit stuck we in traffic. We were letting the bus, the, the the sanitation truck come by. We all had a merch to the right. Yeah, we were, it was it was it was a, it was a the bedroom. sanitation truck fucks with us. They were but 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 us. the uh, an- another hypothesis is is that the marsh when not even if it starts off slow or big, mm-hmm. it's when it gets to like the twins Billy's area. By the time it gets there, by the time from from stands to Billy's area. Those hundred feet, it grows yeah. because everybody who's in the bars Chuck hears the out. drums and the singing, and they're like, "Oh, let's go out." So by the time it gets to Billy's, it's way different yeah. than from where it started from. It's louder. It's, it's loud. It's more full. More engaged. You got people exact, coming out the train. Yeah, that's that's, exact, yeah, the train of there's a train that comes yeah. by. If the train's working, cut train comes by. Boom, everybody's yeah. in that. But this one particular, perfectly perfect. It's a really great location yeah. for a march cuz you get the the bounce back the echoes that you come from the from the yeah. elf, um by the elf, I mean the elevated train the four but this one's particularly and you know we talk about the marches every single week if uh when we're home or at least when we're at Yankee Stadium but this one the reason why this one stood out was for me was the carnaval song that to me was i think more the most uh, I think the loudest we've heard it, the most amount of people that I've seen n- know it, like, and I know people are knowing it. More not, people, are, yeah, not know- it's, not, it's a, it's it's a hard song to for those who know the original. It's kind of a hard song to change the lyrics yeah. of a song you've been singing your whole life because it's such a that song is such a staple in and, our community. Yeah, in Latin American culture, and that the, when you hear Latino, it, it's, it's like it's. I go immediately to Celia Cruz. That's like, a jam. Even for, still, for me, it's, it's hard. Yeah. But what was that other song that I, I I went hard in yesterday? I forgot the song already. Which one? I don't think it was uh, uh, Dale Alegria, Alegria, Mi Corazón. But that's like your favorite now. Yeah, it? that's like my favorite song. Lo único que te pido que ganes hoy. La copa de MLS es mi obsesión. Y hay que dejar el alma y el corazón. Y sí. Señor, esta es la banda loca de Nueva York. Nah. <laughs> so it was the I don't know if maybe because everybody was under the influence, but it honestly, again, it just the uh, the energy, and you could tell when we get to the match is like the energy where in which we start with. It was such a we are present moment, mm. and the just the songs were hitting, man. The songs were really but, like, but, but that kind of song it, it, to, to see. New people, not just like our the core, you know, sickles that are always there, but new people that and you when you're around, it, it may sound stupid to hear, but when you're around as often as we are, you can tell who's new into the crowd and, and who's been there, especially with the march. There was a lot of new people, yesterday. a lot of new people, but which, a lot of which new, is cool. At least try, and if they're not knowing, they're trying it. They're like at least jumping. They're they're becoming active. So what I what I like I said told someone yesterday when we were like, yo, are there? The question was, uh, is there a lot of influence? Is this yeah. a lot of influence driven uh, um, crowd? And I said, if, if it is, that's good. That just shows we're a big club. Mm-hmm. You know, that just shows that our name, um, the uh, the team, the fans, the culture, the atmosphere brings the attention for these said influencers, yeah. whether they're small or big. To take time and be like, all right, I want to make out content for there, this. there for this space. Yeah, because if you so think that that's why I was like, not nah. like the content creator, the insta, the influencer, uh, the influencer yeah. crowd. A lot of people are not attracted to it. They dislike it a little bit, and I'm like, I don't really like it per se because the people probably are like not people how I, I would like mm. as or to get to know to or whatever. But I understand the importance of that. Yeah, because. That means that that just validates that this club's a big club, bro. Mm-hmm. And it's gonna happen, like especially with the news of the with stadium. The, with this week, the stadium, it's, it's hot right now, bro. Like the and even with like let's say the march, right? Like uh, march was amazing. And within the new stadium, the march obviously is gonna look a little different because we don't know where it's gonna come from yet. Is it gonna come from La Marina side or is it gonna come from the the tailgating side on, or, on the well, parking lot? Now that you bring that up, bro. But I do want to just to finish this point with the with, with like songs and music. And like influence, something like we all know the limits of Yankee Stadium with the music and the, and singing. It's loud in the stands, but it may not be as loud on the other side of the stadium. It doesn't travel. As travel well. sound does not travel well, and it's designed for anything to for noise to travel. Obviously, 
the, the opposite way. side. Yeah. So like for instance, like if we were on the opposite side of that's the stadium, why, that's why we're able to hear the way supporters. Yeah. When they sing a little bit, because they're they're yeah. on the canopy, and on top of that, the stadium is just designed that way. Remember, yeah. it's a baseball stadium, home field, with home plate yeah. that side. When we get into our stadium, and now the rest of the stadium is gonna be able to hear, maybe just clearer, but instead of just loud drums, but the words echoing through the stadium. Mm-hmm. We might be able to have a true stadium wide singing the way yeah, we, we like like the way we envision like the way we see it in in South America especially yeah Latin America where where the whole stadium really is supporters it's a, it's a whole supporter section it's not yeah. real like one yeah. uh, set spot it's and, like and I'm all for it and I can't wait for that yeah um but let's get into this game mm-hmm. oh wait wait what I was gonna say, say about the the music and stuff like that City Field yo we gotta like somehow try to replicate. The March atmosphere at City Field. That last week we didn't. I didn't bring it up because I didn't really think much into it. But yeah. yesterday after the March, I was like, "That's when it kind of hit me." At City Field last week, there was no March, no uh, previa, or I think that's what they call yeah, it, the previa. previa. And I was like, "Nah, that, like it needed that." Mm-hmm. Like I realized yesterday that it needed that. Like it's necessary. It needs to happen. Yeah. Hopefully next week for the um, the City Field match. Which probably is gonna be a big deal because we, we don't know. Maybe they do some type of announcement, like something with, for the stadium announcement. And everything you have yeah. all the like the stage set up again, like they had before. Um, and I'm excited for that. Nah, so I th- there's it's a, it was a great moment of the march. Yeah, Bodega Part Two was he was <laughs> was his own thing. Again, you got you give us more than forty minutes uh, before march. We're it was good. exactly forty minutes to kick off when the march ended. Yeah. We all like a lot. Consensus was like, "Yo, we could literally legitimately be in the bodega for twenty to five minutes, easy." Easy. And wa- we wound up leaving at uh, seven fifteen, so we were there for twenty five yeah. minutes. <laughs> and those twenty five minutes, boy, they were the longest twenty five minutes. Yeah, longest twenty five minutes. So good, long, but hey, yo, hey, yo, no diddy. <laughs> all right, let's get into this match. Let's get into this lineup because something happened yesterday that uh, ooh. that we don't know what, what's the deal. We have somehow figured out a win. Crazy, you know. I I went into this match. The pregame vibe also included the um, the knowledge of the importance of this match. Yeah, like if it, it was a type of match that if we lose against New England Revolution, we might as well just call it a clip. Yeah. A, 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 a That's wrap. it. It's over. The season's over. The season of vibes part two. The saga continues. Yeah. Yeah, electric Boogaloo is on like, full force. You know what I mean? Because New England right now. Are hot garbage. Yeah. So, and this was a type of game where, thank God, there's no relegation because if we were to lose this game this early in the season, we would have officially have been in that relegation yeah. battle. Like yeah, for the definitely. rest of the year, like now nah, we're in relegation battle. Like yeah. this is not good. We're not a good team. This is the type of games we're not supposed to be losing, mm-hmm. even if we're not a good team. Yeah. You just can't lose these games, and this was one of those games you cannot lose. So, so let's go into this lineup real yeah. quick. Um, freezing goal, the back four. Ilinich, Tiago, Risa, and O'Toole. Ilinich in for Tavon. Getting a star, which is? Which is, I brought it up last week. Yeah. And then I remember, and then the whole week I was reading on Twitter that Tavon was, and like Tavon was getting praise for his game. And I said positive things. I said, Tavon has, what he has down, it, he has down. It's just what he lacks does not create offense, and we are lacking in offense right now. Mm. So I was, I found it real interesting that he had sat Tavon down for this one. It wasn't like a, a knock. I didn't hear anything about a knock. I didn't hear about anything. There's no international duty. It was just a sit down. So this is the thing. People always say that the coach needs to make changes, subs. When you're in a bad, uh, bad moment, and you, if the coach doesn't make changes, then it brings more concern to the coach. Yeah. So at least he's showing that um, that something needs to change. Yeah. All right. So let's keep going with this lineup. Go. So we got Parks and Sands. <laughs> And then here were more changes. We got Trapito Ojeda making his first start. Uh, Santi Rodriguez, Hannes Wolf on the left. Mm-hmm. And Muncev Bakker up top. Jovan Miotovic is having some Visa. type of issues with his visa. So I was listening to Blue Ball's pod, I believe. Yes, Blue Ball's mm-hmm. pod. And um, they were giving out hints of what, what it could be that he can't come back into the country. And, like, the most common thing when something like this happens mm-hmm. – and I started to think about it once they say it, it's true, is like when you lose your passport. Wow. If you lose your passport, you have to first, A, get a new passport. Yeah. B, if you're on any type of visa, for those who don't know, when you're when you're from another country and you're trying to travel to America on on a, on a visa, 
your passport physically gets a stamp, like a whole sheet stamped on on it as your visa to enter the country. So that's another process that he would have to first get his passport, then go to the American embassy type of thing yeah. to get that process. And it was a holiday th- period. Does it does the I, f- I could be wrong here, but I'm just speculating. Maybe the new like the work visa that he needs, the P1 needs to have that passport number attached to it. And now he needs it's a whole process. First, you can and now he that. needs a new passport. No, he has a new passport number, so now the new P one visa needs to be with that, uh, like linked up to there. This is all hypothetical. Yeah, but that would be the pro- that would be the make the most sense of it. Yeah. So is right it, now the story is he's having visa issues, so he's yeah, back some home. type of immigration issue. Yeah, he's he's training. He's posting a video talking about be oh. ready, Statue of Liberty. I'm I'm hoping, brother. We are hoping. Yeah, I know, but he's hurry not, up, <laughs> hurry up. You know what I mean, like who you gotta pay because. Tell the big, the big sheik, the big <laughs> ah, to be like, how you doing? You know what I mean? Because yeah. right now, man, it was good results, but we have to talk about the negative. And there was just one glare. That first half, uh, we looked like we were gonna. It was gonna be same story, different day. Bro, that first half was like this, so painful. Yeah. First off, after all the injuries, because every two seconds there was someone was on the ground. Yeah. The whole, they only get eight minutes stoppage time. We're gonna do. We're gonna treat the first half like Apple treated the first half. Mm-hmm. We watched the highlights. It was kickoff. There was one play, and then forty half minutes. Time. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, they show, they show. Yeah, they show one play, which they was kickoff. One play, like a, a shot or something. Yeah, and then halftime. Halftime, like <laughs> it was not a. It was one of. The, I want to say one of the worst halves, but because we were on them, it was slow. It was slow. It looked. It people There's were too many stoppages, know, the injuries. Boring. I thought the ref was gonna give. Legitimately, I was like 13 to 15 minutes stopping yeah. time. When he put up eight, I was like, oh, he wants to leave too. Yeah. <laughs> like, he wants this to end. Well, also. we had a long stoppage. Somebody got there injured. Multiple long yeah. stoppages. That's why I felt that. And a VAR moment. True. And uh, uh, um, other injuries and stuff like that. There was actually, there was a sub in the first half also. Yeah. So, a lot of things went down. And I felt like, honestly, if we were going to play it by the rule book, I, did, I felt that the eight minutes wasn't enough time. Yeah. But I also didn't want to sit through that anymore. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah. I literally was like, could you not give us eight minutes when he raised up the eight minutes? I'm like, you don't need to give us the eight. No. Just blow the whistle, <laughs> Just bro. Just blow the whistle. Just blow. Nothing's going to change yeah. from here to eight minutes. Because we have uh, someone, man, who I think yesterday the stadium was just all in unison, on verbally all in unison. Bakra, as uh, anything at this point, just is not working. Dude, it is it, – it's, it's not even like – we it's not a hot take. Sit this man down. He needs yeah. to. He he sit this man down. Everyone around me, dude. The more, every time that he got the ball, all you started hearing from the back, like the murmurs. We know how people talk to each yeah. other sometimes. Yeah, They're like, "Watch him not do anything. Watch him not do anything. Watch yeah. him not do anything. Nothing's gonna happen." I felt me. that at halftime. I felt that uh, Nick Cushion should have made a sub. Yeah. Just to show me something. Once again, just show me something, bro. Your your job is on the is is on the hot seat in a sense. Like show me you're 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 willing to change to try to get a result. This is a bad team. Like we're lucky they're bad. Yeah. Like really bad because we were lucky that they were worse than us because we did not deserve to go into halftime the playing where we were playing. Like you know, we, not that we a better team would have scored on us hands down. Like freeze, still freeze. Freeze. Matt freeze. Bro. To me, it is right now solidifying. Yesterday, I found I was so happy. He finally got another a clean sheet. Mm-hmm. Uh, Cause he deserved it. Um, I, he's in the conversation for goalkeeper of the year. So yeah. So uh, we saw in the Twitter world that people wanted uh, Freeze to get like a song of his own. I'll say this right now: the the quick initial Freeze chant. If we're gonna adopt anything, I mean, who knows? We don't really do player songs like that. Is is it's, it's kind of like a just a very like aggressive Freeze, 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 Freeze. Like that's that's being chanted right I, now. I need, I need a little bit more effort than that. I know, but it's oh, for for me. Yes. All right. I, I don't know. How so the people's <laughs> so the people's get the it. People's get in and, and timing <laughs> aspects. Gotcha. The the vocalization. Yeah, you you from, you the, from the diaphragm. We'll so. put the lyrics on the bottom. <laughs> the one lyric. In the one way. We'll put the lyrics on the bottom. <laughs> so well, if he makes a big save, the whole nine, you go freeze, 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 freeze. Kind of like a very uh, WWE like okay kind of chant, very like uh, like riding behind him. So kind of like a Jerry, like a not like a Jerry, but you know, 
he seems to be uh, on it. Uh, it's for a quick one. I'll take it right now. If and somebody what? out there wants to write a song for him, yeah, put it out there. Yo, he does. He's he's a uh, um, he's growing into the position where you would hope, obviously, like. Similar to a Sean Johnson, he's here for the next yeah, five years. Yeah, bro. He's our starter for at least the next five years. He's a starter. That he's the type of player that we would not want that consistency from in the, in the long term aspect. Yeah. As of now, I as see of that. now, as of unless he somehow gets a miracle a miracle offer somewhere else to go to yeah. a big club, I think he he's our guy. And what was Nick Cushion thinking, waiting this long, uh, <laughs> waiting thirty games or uh, 20, 27 games, twenty eight games to have to a play. put him in. Yeah, he could remember. Think about that last year. We missed the playoffs almost. How like, many games? How many games is the season? Thirty-four games, right? Thirty-four. 34. So he waited twenty-four games because uh, he played like the last 10. ten. Yeah, twenty-four games to put this guy in. Yeah, I respect and I appreciate Wicho Barasa. He's a good guy to me. He's always been nice to mm. me. But um, but we just gotta. But Lord, some, but Lord, you, yeah. you you had no business. No being business here that long. That especially with this guy on, in, yeah. in between the sticks. Come on, because that first half he kept us in. Yeah, but dude, there's one thing I. And I mentioned this off camera, and it's back to back bar. There's there's one thing that's not even his uh, finishing that's bothering me at this point. Because at this point, I just realized he this guy cannot finish. Period. Left, right, center, no importa. Nick Cushion had a, a quote about him during the week, or I think yesterday, about oh, the ebbs and flows of uh, oh, of the season and shit. And then uh, Blue City Radio, Mike Ender, how you doing? He uh he posted. He, I think he, he was the one that asked him about it. He posted the moments of Barker's. Oh no! This I think this is uh goal stats. um Glenn. That that posted moments of Barker's goal stats. Yeah, yeah. But I think I think um. It's with his oh, with his check in that he does. Oh yes. Yeah. So it was Glenn's thing. Yeah. And and Mike reposted the, yeah. the stats. And career wise, this is who he is. Yeah. Which is crazy that people uh, assumed that he was a savior. And he's shown signs early on when the sign when he got here that this guy could be a legit player. But at the long term, at this point, the big sample size that we have, he's literally on par of what his career statistics has always been. That's crazy. Like for so for me, man, I think he's due for one. Now. He's he maybe due for one. But for me right now, what a big issue is the runs that he is making are horrible. He is not cr- creating space for himself for the pass. And he's not creating space for whoever the dribbler is to even get in a position to make a pass. Like, he's drawing in so many defenders all the time, constantly getting in the way of people all the time. It's just it's like the IQ of, you know what, I maybe go here so that my guy has a chance yeah. to put in a ball into the, yeah. uh, into the, um, into the box. Sorry. It, it's not there. The Latin, you said that uh, Apple's. Highlights, right? When pretty much one play. And it was, you know, the one play? Hans uh, Wolf, Hannes Wolf, it was like extra time into the first half already. He's coming down. A ball comes in. He gets great touch. He's in on goal. Uh, kind of gets crowded over. But he get, takes a shot that gets deflected back into the uh, penalty area, right? Guess who's not there? Moonset Bakrat. And guess who you can see in frame just... Not making the run, just like lightly gagging, and then you see him like struggle, like, "Oh, I'm sorry, y'all, that I was here." Everybody in the stands, bro, when that happened, just yelled out, "Why the fuck are you not here?" Yo, for someone who plays center forward, right? He doesn't play in the centered forward position no. often. He's he loves he, to drift. He drifts heavy left mm-hmm. and uh, stays a little back. Like oh, to, and to, right, he drifts on both sides to, to the back of the box, like that edge of the box. He he stays around there. Yeah. And he doesn't follow through into the middle, like, like you're like cut through into the middle, like what do you like be remember, there? Remember when we? Um, That's also when he went with Algeria. He got the assist. Yeah. Where was he? On the left. Out, on the right. Sorry. On the right. Out wide. Yeah. And it feels like he's more confident and more comfortable being there. Like how? I ha- this is also a question of coaching because have you how have you not instilled in him that make the run in, or stay in the middle? Because you know Hannes Wolf or Kevin O'Toole or Santi Rodriguez on the other side or or, or a lineage, whatever, they're gonna they're gonna bring the ball, they're gonna whip the ball in. Yeah. But we whip the ball in often, and there's nobody there's there. There's nobody there. Often this happens so much, or it will be somebody who has no business being there, like not no business, but it's like why are why are you why covering are you that the spot? only one here? Like Trapito being in yeah in the middle, like you know the instinct, bro. Like what's the like the again? I'm 
I'm talking about so, as someone who just watches, I the little I've played is not enough for me to be like I played. But I would think initial instinct of a player going out wide, let's say for instance like a Santi or a Trapito or whoever, is if I find myself with enough space uh, with the ball, I'm whipping this ball back into the box, right? Like one of those kind of like hesitation, like hey, maybe something comes out of this. Yes. So because in their brain, I'm 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 just assuming they're thinking my center forward might be there to get do something with yeah. this. But think about like slap down. Forward, think about like Holland, like the Hollands of the world, where he's literally now just waiting. I for know a you ball say, oh, you can't compare him. No, but no. we're just comparing them their position. The of positioning, play. not the skill level, the just positioning. The positioning. Um, like you whip it in there, he, they're gonna be there somehow. He is not that person. And like how Tati got a lot. How many goals Tati had first touch happens? Yeah. Because he was there. Our center forward is not really center forwarding. No. And, and, it's, and it's showing that's, bad. That's, 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 that's probably, that's, obviously that's an issue, but it's, mm. that's not only on the player. What if he's being coached to play that way? Which, would, which was. Which that is, would be super sus. Then. Like, what are you waiting for? Because why, why, why? it's not just about your scoring right now. It, to me, it's just your play off the ball is also shout bad. Out, shout out to Toji. He hit me up. He, he was uh, a couple rows behind me. He, he taps me on the shoulder. He's like, what formation are we playing? I'm like, I don't know. Let me pay attention real mm. quick. And he goes, because to me, it looks like we're playing 4-2-4. Four, four. And I'm like, 4-2-4? Four, four. Oh, so I, I look at it, and it was literally 4-2-4. Four, four. We had nobody in the midfield, and we just had the four players up top pushing we up. We can afford that, though, in this pitch. Yes, but like... It's mm, weird, it but... It don't we, work. Yeah. Oh, just because we could afford it doesn't mean it works. Nah. Doesn't mean, doesn't mean it was a good idea. <laughs> yeah. We, but we don't have direct down the middle play. No. We don't root, have that. We don't have a root one option. We don't have the A gap in, yeah. in football. We don't have that. We don't have nothing going straight down the middle. And what's what's going to suck in a sense is that whenever Maxi does come back, whenever Maxi does come back, we're watching the Arsenal Aston Villa match and it's getting, it, it's getting, it, it it's getting something happened. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, like, it, uh, well, well yeah, Maxi comes, comes back. Sorry. Well, Maxi comes back. Sorry. When Max come back, what's, su- what's going to suck about it is that we have to readapt our coaching technique and our style of play a little bit to play through him. Yeah. Something that Santi Rodriguez hasn't been able to do, and, I, and, and I, it's not his style of it's play. It's not his style. I'm, I'm going to stop the, the Santi can't be a 10 talk right now because Santi is not a natural 10. It's just a number he's wearing. It's a number he's wearing. The the natural ten as Maxi plays it is gone from not only gone from this league or not it's totally, gone from the sport but it's really gone yeah it's, it's, Santi, it's not a thing no more Santi plays his game and you kind of have to kind of t- in order to uh, let him loose and for him to be effective you have to let him play that his kind of game yeah. with someone who could be a Maxi yeah. you still need the the Maxi person there yeah. or Maxi Maxi esque so and all that oh Santi's not a uh, is not doing it it's just not his game it's really just not. Because yesterday a lot of that like yo he's not ten, he's not doing a ten roll like he shouldn't get get rid of the number I'm like right now it's just that it's, it's just, just a number. number in the jersey bro it's just a number the last ten the last Mohicans Messi is over there somewhere yeah you know there's no that style of player there, that don't exist no more bro mm. yeah him and actually him and, uh, you know what all the tens in the world all are the, old yeah. already bro <laughs> pretty much yeah they're old bro nah but the second half starts. Eventually, eventually, it eventually, we finally got there. We got to be there. Honest. It was, it Shouts was, to to all the halftime activities that take place in the stadium. I kind kind of disappointed that I had to talk to Vago in halftime. I was like, Vago, this is time of the game where uh, you're supposed to give out like, Oreos. Done. I'm a little hungry right now, and you you're disappointed. Nah, you see, that's that's the second time. If you know, if Vago's old, if you know, you knows. And right now, I feel like a lot of people are not getting to know because. They don't get the Vago we know. They don't got, we're not getting a full Vago experience. Yes. So he said um, he had a good reasoning, to be honest. He, goes, up? he goes, nah, the weather's not that good, like, to, to be throwing things and stuff like that. Yeah. He says, when the weather gets nicer, then yeah. All right. I was like, that's a really good reason. Like, you know. He's, think, he's thinking about other people. Except also, he's probably. You fucking throwing frozen <laughs> juice boxes, bro? Like, <laughs> th- frozen did, Capri Suns at people? He also did two days at, in Philadelphia for WrestleMania, so you never know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He he's, might take. We taking a break. He's out of here, brother. Um, he goes. That's not gonna work for me, brother. No. <laughs> nah, but second half starts, and I don't want to call it a different team that came onto the field. No subs because it was no there wasn't. A, there wasn't a different team. It was the same. It was team, the same there team. Was no subs. But we definitely came in pro- with a little bit more of we can beat this team. We came in with a little bit more energy. A little bit more. energy. A little bit of urgency because 
You, a tie didn't help us, bro. It didn't help. You had to come like, up with the result. We, we need to win because we just need yeah. to win, bro. We just can't lose. We can't lose every game. So, do you want like, you want to go script right to the first goal? The first goal is a fucking... Well, they're both goal losses. They're both goal losses. First and foremost. So, Trapito Ojeda, number Shout. 26. It was crazy because our last 26, Nicolas Acevedo. Yeah. From f- afar, like from, from standing in live, I don't know how it transmits on TV as much. I didn't pay attention to that. But from afar and live, he looked like Nicholas Acevedo. <laughs> like the he, body structure, is this, the jawline yeah, a little bit. Yeah, the jawline to like the nose. Like, like if, yeah. you, if you were to just quickly draw the side profile. Kind of the, kind of the same hair. Yeah. Like. Young. It took me a second. I was like, I keep forgetting that's Rapido Head. Nah, yeah. nah. Because Gacha Acevedo. has like an interesting like, uh, like physique too. Like he's short, but like he can't be stocky. He can look stocky, but he can't. Mm-hmm. Shouts to Kacha. I know he's injured right now, but he's doing it up all in Brazil. Brazil, yes. Yeah. He's in um, Bahia de... Bahia. Yeah, I always call it Bahia. Bahia yeah. Another player that, honestly, we probably... Uh, we needed last year. We didn't take... Uh, I think that we didn't take a chance on him enough, and he could have probably... No, we went it. through this. We couldn't We couldn't pass on James Sands. True. We couldn't pass on James yeah. Sands. All right, so... Get into that first goal, please. Yeah, that goal. So, it... It wasn't necessarily within a play mode. It, I, he got it off for like a ricochet, but the way he hit that ball, man, rocket. I almost missed the goal because I, I kept seeing like the bounce arounds, and I was like, oh, here we go again. And then all I see is just, poof, son, upper 90. It, it, just it, I saw the curve from because we were behind, like directly, like on the opposite side, mm-hmm. behind the other goal. Yeah, you had you had the the nice little view of it. You see the ball curve and everything. This is what I will say. God damn, that, bro, like that made up for you not having a right because no one on this team has a right foot. Yeah, and this was evident throughout the game. But to see him score that type of goal was like that's what you're that's what you're able to do, Papi. Like. Then let's do it, let's bro. Do it. Let's this this is let's, let's do game it, on, bro. And I love the fact that it was an outside like a shot from far because that's not something we normally no. do. We we don't really score as much from outside the box like that because we, our, we, our team likes to walk the goals. And apparently, yeah. our 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 identity is tapping. So it's just yeah. get in the box and f- find the tapping. But man, it, he's he's a lively player, man. Yeah. He's a li- You see him with his runs. Like you see what he could do on the ball. Like his passing is also, it's up. He's young, so there there is rough edges to him. And you know you, some people might hark on that. But dude, this dude was playing. He's close to getting starting minutes at Racing. Yeah. Like. Yeah, he comes from he comes from Racing. He comes from good pedigree out um, there. Like it's, it, it, we need to be playing players like this. Like, and I think that second half just started showing. Us the fan base and hopefully really just put the emphasis on Cushing. Like there are players on this team. There's 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 ballers on this there's team. There's ballers bro. that you need to focus you on. You need to put put this t- shit together, bro. You like, sorry you, for cursing. I don't think we've cursed a lot this episode. Probably not. Uh <laughs> I couldn't I, I wasn't trying to curse throughout the game because uh we had this uh dope couple with uh, their baby that came for the first time in front of us. So I, we t- I told them like give them a little prep of like hey look yeah I know this is, this might may not be upstairs but we also get a little rowdy because like oh no my friend told me about uh to be prepared we you know we with the cheering and stuff and I was like and it was uh come on city make sc- what I'm oh, sorry I'm a little high but <laughs> uh make some fucking noise so I w- I said it and I was like oh I'm sorry I'm sorry like I felt like I don't like cursing lo- around babies because they're gonna learn how to curse later on. You so know. you're saying why teach him now? Yeah, just okay. it happens. Keep him innocent as as close you, you as, for as long I, as possible. You know keep what I kids say, right? Innocent. You know what I say, right? Fuck them kids. Fuck them kids. <laughs> but this is a this <laughs> <laughs> is a new thing of a new due to the stadium. I was like, let me at least they. I think they had a great experience. They they were really happy. That's but, good. Um, like, bro, I forgot where the fuck I was going with that. But I don't know, but the second goal, Junior Fernandez, before he scored the second goal, there was a moment in the game that made me question, like, our scouting, where he took a shot on goal from, uh, I guess, watching on the TV would be the near side goal post, mm-hmm. and instead of shooting with his right foot, oh. <laughs> he tried to trivel a shot straight forward that if he would have used his right foot with any type of confidence, I think he has a way better angle yeah. on that shot. Well, straight away, and 
he three vela they from fucking seven yards out. Yo, that's that's the honestly, dude. That's the name of his game. His name of his game is what can I do Junior with Fernandes my left? In. Yes, that's gonna compensate for my inability to do this with my right. It's just what he does. And I feel like we until he develops it, we're gonna have to t- accept it because what he can do with his left is stuff that others. I think right now. Others in that position can't. So, so Junior Fernandez and Malachi Jones came in in the 63rd for Hannes Wolf and Ojeda. Yeah. Rapito Ojeda. Which Yo, he, is gets, wa- wow, he got bro. subbed off right off right right after after, his goal. Keep, get this kid playing 90 minutes. How he can't play 90? He played 90 minutes in the rain on turf. And, and Belson. Yeah, and Belson, yeah. injured. He could play yeah. on this field 90 Getting minutes, two-footed bro. by high school. Uh, like, uh, for college and high school jun- kids. Junior college players and shit. Like, come on. But he did get <laughs> crazy. He did. They did come in. Uh, by then, did Alonso had come in already? For no, Alonso came in later. So, which is crazy, my man. You still have Bakra on the pitch at this point. Yeah, that was another thing I had thought since uh, Martinez showed something. The pa- the games that he's appeared in mm-hmm. the past couple games. When I said at halftime, I would have took out Bakra at halftime and be like, "Yo, all right, enough is enough. It, it's not your night." We need a ghost. This is something that I, I I was telling somebody yesterday. I forgot who I was having this conversation with. That type of day, where like mm. our players need to get yelled at, probably. Oh, you me? Because I had told you that I had a dream about Dome coaching this team. Yeah, because because it's like, it's like maybe they're getting babied too much and being like. Hey, buddy. Yeah, too much. That wasn't that good today, but you know what? You got it, buddy. You, you got it good in nah, practice. Nah, you need to get – some of these players probably need to get chewed the fuck out. they probably never been chewed out, or they, got, they they haven't been chewed out since they came from their countries yeah. because it's hard for a millennial to coach a Gen Z player, like, I guess. You know, like, the age gap is too tight, so maybe Nick talks to them, like yeah. – which is fine to talk to them, like, people because that's who they are and trying to talk to them normal without raising your voice and everything. But sometimes players – in the coaching, in athleticism, and competition, they need to get pushed, motivated in a way that that's not un- that is uncomfortable for them, so they can react yeah. to it. Yeah, there, there's a you know some, you got to break them out of their comfort yeah. zone, and that's why I would have went to uh, uh, to Bakarov Bakarov at halftime and be like, "Listen, man, it's not your day." It's not and just broke down. it to him, Kobler, like it's not yeah. your day. We're gonna go some. We're gonna try something different because and. And just let's and watch. Let's see if we learn something. Like it, I, it sucks to say, but the thing is, with this, le- like when you're playing "quote unquote" top level sports, and you see it all around the world, not just in in soccer world, but in basketball world, and uh, I mean, really, too, only in global sports. But you see it in, in professional sports all the time. There is a a level that of like mentality where you have to get. We we were talking about the Man City uh, documentary. documentary where. These pre- these players are playing perfection almost, and Pep goes back and goes, "You guys played well, but I don't. I I, I still want more out of you. It, it wasn't perfect. It wasn't perfect. It wasn't perfect. Yeah. Like it's almost like you have to trick their minds into yeah. trying to achieve the psychology of the sport. It's it's, it's toxic, it's, it's, but it's 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 almost was needed at that level. It it's is part of the game. It's part of the game. It's the like, psychology. It's the pressure, the anxiety yeah. of it. It's. They talk about it all the time. It's it's a bad part of it, but it's also what you may need to perform at that level consistently because every day is you're you're on the line, and he's just not doing it. And I thought Alonso, Mar- Mar- Alonso Martinez came in at the eighty third minute. Look at that. I was like, you know what? About time. At that point, I wasn't comfortable with the one 0 lead. Yeah. I was like, you know what? I st- I still see New England because they started They're, playing a little bit. I still Matt see Freeze New- put in a crazy save, I still bro. See New second England. half. Possibly getting a goal in, and that would just ruin everything. Yeah. Matt Freeze, bro. Matt Freeze again, crazy goalkeeper saves, the, crazy saves. Com- conversation for goalkeeper of the year. Conversation for USMT. Conversation for uh, team of the week has to be. Has to be. Uh, conversation for man of the match last night. Yeah. Um, but that second goal. Andres Perea came in as well, yeah. which was surprising to see Santiago Rodriguez get subbed out. But he, he did, it looked like he got a knock though. But. I felt I respected the sub because it's like it's two, it's one nil in the ninety plus one. Mm-hmm. We need we need this. Yeah. Put in the defensive player. I said, Santa, you did what you can. Let's get someone to lock this game down. We were fortunate enough to have a fucking another spectacular goal, bro. Spectacular goal. I think, if I remember correctly, kind of like off of a, a deflection, and he, Julian gets to it, 
runs down. He he's running. He's he's in on goal, and I was keeper man. Rabba just decides that he wants to get off his line, and honestly, it wasn't even a chip. At, at first, I thought it was a chip. Now he placed that he ball. He placed that ball. Bro. Yeah, That's he a put sh- that ball where, bro, from, he, from I, twenty-five to thirty yards what, out, bro. Uh, how, you, how you say it when he goes like, <laughs> like, like he, so he just opened up and just yeah. that shit just curved like twenty-five yards out, bro. Crazy, like crazy. The con- confidence, yeah. Like they they got the and I would dare I say it, the almost the naiveness to to not care. To try that, you need that, bro. You need you that, like need that. That, 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 like you know, what? I'm gonna just try this shit right now, and yeah. it went in. He got his first goal. Well, not his first goal. Sorry, um, was that his first goal? No, too? I don't think no, that was that was. But two goals by Muchachos. I started singing the Muchachos song Muchacho. because two Argentinians. I think the NYCFC posted something and, this yeah. morning with a uh, like a uh, artwork of them holding mates, and. I was like, muchacho, or, yo, y'all making me feel like, like something now. I got a little tingling mm, in my stomach now because of y'all. You got, there's motion here, bro. Like, it's, yeah. it's something that are also Malachi, speaking of the subs, missed it, woofed it, but crazy and on go his, Malachi looks like he, need, again, there's potential here. And I guess to kind of land this, even though it's against New England, we should, we have, we should have just, Demolished them at this point. Demolished them because they are trash. You can see the gold in the garbage that that is in this team. Like, yeah, there's good stuff here. It's just Malachi Jones. Uh, much respect to him. Shouts to him to be able to get the sub, yeah. get in as a sub, and the game of that magnitude because it was a big it game. It was a us. big game. Huh? It's a, it, the magnitude and the position. We were only down up one nil. The game was getting a little tighter, and he was like, "You know what?" Uh. Hannes Wolf, you're done. So you're done. even though he, it wasn't like he was having a bad match, it's just good. I, I, I don't care if you played in, in the Bundesliga and the championship. Oh. This kid, straight out of the who knows Bumblefuck College, oh, he, deserves some minutes right now. He did, and deserve, honestly, so like yeah. I'm, his goal's gonna come. He wolfed that sitter though. He should, we sh- he should have scored. I feel, yeah, he I really should have scored. I think he's gonna get more minutes. He has mm. to get more minutes. We have to get. He has conf- He has this weird he confidence. He has this weird swag. About yeah, him, bro. like you're not gonna tell him off. Like yeah. some of the stuff that he was, the runs that he was making, like you could tell He's that like, they're nah, confident. Bro, I grew up in a refugee camp, bro. This shit is nothing, is nothing. for me, bro. So shouts to Malachi Jones, bro. Like, this is e- this is light There's, work, bro. We got power under you, um, which just I got I, eight siblings. I got to feed. <laughs> this is we we eat in honestly out here, bro. the 2027 team that's gonna open up that stadium. I feel like. We got some. We got some potential that, demons on that potential, team. Potential potential demons on that team. You know what I mean, hopefully the guy who's who's up the hell of the at the helm at the home of it is not Cushing. Yeah, because this is this match. Hey, everybody was bringing up the how many count is it? I think this is eight. Yeah, for him. So you got two more. The one coming up four twenty. I want to say this about. Yeah, I want to say this about the. Um, by which the schedule or the, our, the ter- our standings? Our ter- we are oh. currently in twelfth with eight points. Do you know we are we are, we are only? Unfortunately, okay. though, everybody has uh the teams below us have a game on hand, or in hand. Sorry. We are only two points out the playoffs. Yeah, but two points out the playoffs. Well, obviously, we still have a yeah. bazillion games left. Hopefully the people below us don't. Yeah, but another win next week against an opponent who's above us on the table, yeah. at yeah. City Field against Toronto, it, we we jump them. We jump yeah. them at least. They are ninth with ten points. So we'll go up. We'll bump up to eleven points. We're, we're in the playoff talk conversation. It, and and all you need to do is chip away. And you know the worst thing that could happen for us, and for a lot of fans who are anti Nick Cushing, is that we go on a run right now. Yeah. Because if we go on a run right now, once we all hope to go on a run, to be honest, because mm-hmm. we're all these home games, we need to go on the run. It holds his, it, 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 it protects his job yeah. more. That's it, the only thing. That's the only that's thing. That's the caveat. We could start looking good, but if we start looking good, you can't fire the coach then. No. That's it. The conversation is yeah. over, bro. So, you know, the story, it, the story gets put aside again. Yeah. But he has two more for our countdown. Yeah. Uh, Toronto's in Toronto. Uh, uh, Toronto honestly has just been mid. They've been a mid team, like in a in a sense. They're not really on some craziness. Where they lost yesterday against Charlotte. Like it's just in Charlotte. 
it, it they look like a team that's again still figuring. Is Sean Johnson back? I I forget if he's back I'm not or from sure. injury. I don't remember. I'm not. He was out on injury um a couple weeks ago. They're very reliant on their stars, so it's like they have great playmakers there, but they're super reliant on on their Italians. And so we got four points out of our first two home games out of this five game stretch. Mm. Four points. We said seven was good conversation out of out of, out the, of the last out of, out of the fifteen po- available points. Mm. Like we're, we're we can we could do some. We'll take. We'll, we, could we'll, do, we'll, we could be froggy right here. We could do some things out here. So I don't know about if we play again. Toronto's still good for one. I'm gonna say two one maybe. Um, at City. Um, oh, I'm lying. Pardon me. Pardon me, fellas. Sorry, everybody. Sorry, everybody. We play BC United next week. What for at uh, City Field City? next week? Sorry, mm. my apologies to the whole community for being dumb. <laughs> I, th- right? I thought we played TFC. We play them at, Ob- at our first game on the road after the uh, is in Toronto. At Toronto, yeah. Sorry. Oh yeah, because everybody was asking we're, we're going to go to Toronto. Let's go. Let's go. Bring it back real quick. DC is above us in tenth place in, with ten points. Mm-hmm. So they're still above us. Beating them is still a big win. Because we're beating someone above us on the table, who are we gonna? We would jump in the standings yeah. um, with a win next week. DC, DC is that that team right now? Where it's just like Benteke is doing big things out there. They still have they have a they have a center forward that can't do something. That plays center forward. And this dude, um, what the fuck is his name? The Lanessi was their new manager. I mean, they're uh, they're just on the, they're on the flip. They're this is their comeback year or their rebuild year kind of thing where stuff is new. So they're gonna be up for it too. We have again every team around us, and the bottom of the table. You gotta think about it almost as like a, a rivalry match. It's a big mm-hmm. match. Where anytime we play anybody around us at this point, because that's just gonna lead to jumps. Whereas if we play a Columbus, and we win. It may not move us up the table. We right now our focus is moving up the table instead of trying to beat out the the crazy teams. Because Troy Lassen, 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 yeah, he was the 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 Red Bull interim mm-hmm. for a bit last yeah. year, right? Mm-hmm. Troy Lassen, 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 Lassen. But always, always DC and us, we always play good, ma- well, decent matches. It's it's not really a rivalry, but it can it, it can get there. Um, it's I still say two one. Well, they played us to the death last year yeah. in D.C. They basically ended our season. They did end our season. Yeah. I mean, They're the ones that... Yeah, fucking Wayne Rooney, Shrek motherfucker, Ogre motherfucker. Didn't, fucking, didn't even finish out the game on the sidelines. And he was just sitting there eating popcorn and shit. Uh, so, I hopefully, so, ho- I'm going to say hopefully, say? Well, I can't even predict it because it's like... I'm going to say... I'm a we're, s- not, we're not consistent yet. I'm going to say 2-1. You're going to say 2-1? I say, we, I say we give up a goal because D.C. is decent, right? They're not afraid to play us. City Field for us... As a team, historically, hasn't been a fortress like Yankee Stadium has always been, mm-hmm. right? That's fair to say. Well, we we've lost more. We lo- we've lost more big matches. A percentage, City a than... winning percentage at City Field. I'm, I assume I'm going to take a wild guess is worse than than Yankee Stadium. It has to be just winning percentage. It should. It re- um, I think it should. So we give up a goal, but we went two one in in um, torturous fashion, like the suspensefulness of it. So. Yeah. I'm, you say 2 1. I'm, I say 2 1. You say what'd you say? I said, I'm going to leave it at that 2 1. 2 1, 420. I imagine the pregame vibes should be immaculate. Maybe the team does an announcement. Uh, I think we should have, we, we're going to have a lot of fun. Yeah. So see y'all out there, man. We're going to be out there. Hopefully, I won't forget these stickers again. Um, yeah. So. And then you see us. Come say yeah. hi to us. Again. Don't be scared. Yo, you know, I, this, I think this is probably a good way to close it out. You know what? Uh, what I realized no yesterday, because this what we were supposed to record last night. We were supposed to record last night, and uh, our bodies just was. Our, our bodies said, "But my body." <laughs> I can't sing that song. Either. No, I don't know. We leave it there. Damn. I realized I'm 33, and you're just slightly older than that. Not um. So I'm a fucking child, bro. Like, <laughs> how you doing? You know. What but mean? I want to say, while while 30 may not be young, but also may not be old. What it is is washed, <laughs> and <laughs> <laughs> bro, I I have, <laughs> yo, I never, I have, th- yes, last night I felt, I felt washed at the end. I was, bro, we, I, we, we, I had we, a day. We barely finished eating the food we got, and you was snoring already. Yo, I, you was out for the count. The, you know, the, we we say like cuando el día está encima, cuando te cae encima. 
The whole day hit you? you know, the, the whole day just hit you. The whole day hit me when I we got home, bro. When I got home, I was like, oh, shit. I was outside. <laughs> mm-hmm. But yesterday was in the full, a full eventful day. I hope everybody who stayed around the stadium enjoyed themselves, yeah. had, fun, had fun, good, good vibes, times, and celebrated a victory. I know it's it, it was a long time coming, and having this feeling is 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 cherish the the, the Yankee yeah. Stadium moments now because yes, like I said, like we said earlier in the episode, the it's on a countdown. But anything else you want to talk about this from this illustrious match day? Nah, we we think we shut. Yeah, guys, that's it. I think um we did it. We did another episode. Subscribe, like, share, share. um, follow. or follow the page. And like I said, we're here for ya. So, let me just say, um, you know the fucking vibe.